Fix the game capture. Fix the game capture. Fix the game capture. Fix the game, please. Game keeps jumping in front while I'm trying to change the... There we go. That's up and running, isn't it? Goodo. Right. So. Okay. Let me put hold. Yeah. Just gonna. There we go. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, head bobbing. Oh god. Camera shaking. All right. So this is pools. Pools. This, uh, this was highly recommended to me to try out. Okay. And uh, this was... Very familiar Unity backrooms sort of feel. Ooh, whoa, whoa. Oh, it's got that Unity camera feel. So yes, this was highly recommended to me to try out. Wow, well, I sort of want to go that way, but I, I want to go this way too. Oh my god, already the atmosphere is amazing. I know very little about this. I've gone into it completely blind. But this already feels very back rooms, pool rooms. But as far as I know, no running. As far as I know, this is, uh, just adjust that, there we go. As far as I know, this is not a horror game, per se. Sound design's brilliant. Oh my god, I'm, I'm even leaving splashes. Splashes and splotches on the ground. This is like the epitome of a walking sim. And speaking of walking sims, I have a walking sim. Uh, I have a walking sim coming for a, for a chill out stream very soon. Quite literally a walking sim. Tune in for that. It'll uh, it'll be interesting because I've never tried it myself. So can we go this way? Oh, we can. Oh, it's dark. Oh, it's as far as it goes. Ah. Uh, hello? Um. Yep, cool. Okay. Just gonna... Yep. You, you, you have a good day. Oh boy. Yeah, just gonna... Okay. Okay. Just gonna chill. Just gonna, just gonna walk away from there. Just gonna, we're just gonna leave that behind. Flashbang.
Okie dokie. Alright, alright. Okay. Marco. I don't have a jump. Okay, cool, cool. Cool, cool beans. Cool beans, just gonna... We're just gonna ignore that. Just gonna act like we didn't see it. We're just gonna... Uh no running. Oh my god, for a game that is not... It was not pitched to me as a horror game. It certainly has a vibe and a half of being a horror game. And I think it's because... Jesus fucking Christ. Let's get the fuck out of me. Seriously, dude. Scared the absolute bejesus out of me. Why am I walking towards it? Hello. Hello, giant rubber duck. I half expected it to, like, fall down and start floating around. That's a big ass rubber duck. I, I'm disconcerting. Feels like the duck's gonna do something. Like it's gonna. I don't know. Don't like it. Some stairs. Just don't like that duck. But these sorts of environments have always fascinated me, like the uh, the what's it environments, liminal spaces the words I'm looking for. I don't know why. I think it fascinates us. Fascinates a lot of people. Because it's... It just feeds into that. Ooh. Red room. Feeds into that whole... You're not supposed to be here. Sort of feeling. Hmm. Big red slide. Super fun happy slide. Alright, fuck it. Let's see if I can take the, the super fun happy slide. Can I? Oh, hell yeah. Whoa. design is great. They're putting uh, putting F mod to fantastic use. Hmm. Oh, I can run in the water. Oh, we 
dirty tiles. Okay, it's me, catching my breath. God damn. I heard breathing, I was like, what the fuck? What is it? It's behind me. But I have been told there is no... I have been told... There is no entities. But god damn if it doesn't creep you out all the same. Just from the sheer... Sheer loneliness. Feeling of being alone in this weird... Weird place. Oh fucking Jesus! You motherfuckers. Come on. God fucking damn it. Should have known that pull something like that. Can I ride the duck? No. God fucking damn it. What was I just fucking took? Why does it turn to face me? I don't like that. What was I just fucking saying? God damn, that's creepy. Oh, there's no entities. Nothing to worry about. You're all alone. You fucking giant rubber duck jump scare. Oh god, I'm in a maze. Exit that way, apparently. Yeah, me. Okay, I can't go any further. It's, uh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Right, this way, all right, fair enough. Cheers. Jesus fucking Christ. That's, uh... That's a little bit fucking creepy. That's like whatever that... That thing was. I mean, it was human, maybe? But it was, uh... It was like... No. That way. Head that way. Fair, that's a very effective use of uh, very effective use of assets. Just a cheap human figure that uh, that points. I just, I'm just gonna go this way. I'm just. Oh boy. For such a simple premise, simple concept, the atmosphere is so goddamn thick. Feels like you could cut it with a freaking knife.
What? Whoa. Whoa. Alrighty then. That's cool. Alrighty. You know what? I actually really enjoyed that. You know what? Let's do this again. I really that I really liked that. That was fucking cool. Okay, now this time. Careful, trip hazard. Don't slip over now. I would actually have a giggle if, um, if it says, you know, no running or slip hazard, and then I run and slip over. <laughs> Interesting. So which way did I come in? If I am correct. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. I sort of don't want go down the dark path to be honest. up art gallery. I feel rather strange walking towards the light.
Now, does this spit me out back to where we were? It might, actually. Oh, the light adjustment. That's cool. Okay, yeah, it does. So it brings me back to where I was. So overall, it's fairly, I guess you could say it's, hey, give me that ladder back you bastard. You could say it is fairly linear because all the paths seem to eventually connect with each other. And that's where I ended up last time. I just, I don't know, as I've, uh, as I've found over the years, I seem to really enjoy exploration in games. I mean, I don't mind having my hand held, but I, I thoroughly enjoy just being able to explore strange worlds as opposed to being railroaded down a single path. Like, linearity is, uh, is good in games, but... I like being able to... Okay, yeah, we're back here. I like being able to indulge in... just wandering sometimes. There's Giant Duck. Hello. This is all pretty cool. It's um, it's giving me shit bricks feelings. That's for certain. As I thought. Certainly giving me um, a shit bricks feeling. But this is. This is brilliant. This is really good. never really sure like what you're gonna come across okay that brings me back to here so that groaning Jesus Christ Time is stuck in the same minute. Hmm. Can 
I get in the big tube? Let's go find out. No. I wanted to climb the... Climb the big tube. Or at least... Figure out where it's connected so I can... Slide down it. Ah, flashbang. Well. Okay, so that's the slide. I like how I leave the splotches so I can sort of... See where I've been. And that brings me around to here. And then that takes me back around. Right. I'm sort of starting to get an idea of a, a map in my head. Which is rather unusual for me. But. Don't worry, we will. We absolutely certainly will. Okay, this brings me back to here. Right! Well then. I mean, you know, there's only, uh... There's only one thing to do. let me. Okay, well that's gonna... I'll go this way. Now I think that's, um... It's the reason stuff like the SCP files and back rooms just, I... I really enjoy... Ugh! Scratch my head. I really enjoy that sort of stuff. Especially if it's... I mean, I don't mind it if it's, like, amateur written. Because, like, for the most part, that's fine. Don't expect a, um... A world-class novelist... To, uh... To write an SCP file. Although I would not be surprised... If somebody has. But, um... I think it's that... The mystery, the unknown... Just fascinates the hell out of me. I want to know more about all of it. I want to know more about absolutely everything in that in that world. Whatever this world is. But the old saying that's one that I've lived by for a couple of years now. I've got to keep reminding myself. The chase is often better than the catch. It's when you, uh... Sometimes you end up with something that you thought you really wanted. But after you've got it, well then what? I mean, it's great to have it. But sometimes the mystery and the intrigue is what makes these things so good in the first place. So, I think we've seen everything that we came to see. I think we've seen everything that uh, the demo has to offer. Thought I'd do a quick, quick run through, and uh, let's see if there's anything different. But it all looks—it looks like we've uh, we found it all. And there's the giant fucking duck. Yeah, fairly certain we've seen everything that the demo has. 
that the whole the, the the preview of the game, the trailer of the game, looks fascinating to me. And if it's um, long enough to be intriguing and interesting enough but not long enough to outstay its welcome and be boring after an hour I um, which is to be honest it's actually very difficult to pull off for something like this but I am liking what I see so far I'm, I'm very intrigued to actually see the whole thing and see where excuse me see see where it takes us so uh, but I think we've seen everything that we can see yeehaw whoa So I am very, very intrigued to see the rest of this. But that's pretty good. So that's pools. P-O-O-L-S.